anabolic steroid users look older. This is an amazing phenomenon, right, you guys? Everyone's always said, you look at these bodybuilders, late 20s, 30s maybe, and this guy looks super old, like body's unbelievable, but doesn't this guy look older? He looks 10 years older or more. Of course, and then when they die, right? Generation Iron, all these guys post this stuff. When you look at all the comments, I said, this guy looks just super old. Steroids accelerate aging. I put some stuff together, guys. This is another one where I am so stoked because I wanted to make a video on this. You know, this is one of my scratches. I scratch down a paper, a concept. I see something out there that that's so phenomenal, right? Just so timely. And you guys really talk about it and people wonder and you see snippets. And then I sit in the cave and I do the research and I pull real evidence together. This is really, really what it's gonna be. So anabolic steroid guys, do they look older? Why? Understanding this phenomenon, scientific review of data, and of course, in the end, brothers and sisters, as I am 60 years old and I am still cranking and I use some extra steroids on top of TRT. Got to be careful, guys. Definitely not medical advice and you got to be careful. That's why you got me here in the world. But in the end, how to avoid this acceleration potentially of biologic aging with anabolic steroids on board. Real quick, guys, want to give a shout out to Testosteronology, my testosteronologist, and I want you guys to subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Testosteronology. There you're going to see content just where Andrew, my guy Andrew, who's helping me grow Testosteronology, amazing, brilliant man, he interviews and works with all these other brilliant testosteronologists. You're going to see content on this channel about testosterone. Can it help men with sickle cell disease? From one of my great testosteronologists, Omar Hajmosa, pharmacology PhD. Also, nurse practitioners, Patricia Zamora, John Flouting, talk about real pellets, testosterone pellets, and so much other great content. I want you guys to subscribe to Testosteronology YouTube channel. Okay, now back to steroids and aging. First off, when you look at this phenomenon, we have to come up with some scientific mechanism of action. That's why you guys have me. We do see bodybuilders that appear to look older. Why? We're looking at their faces though. Their bodies look freakish, right? I mean, when these guys are 27 or 37, he, th their bodies are just so muscular and shredded. So when they say he looks older, you're looking at the facial structure, right? This is phenomenal. I really, really hammered on this. Why? Is it hair loss? I mean, a lot of these guys have hair loss because they're on anabolic steroids, leads to hair loss. Is there a facial change in the, the bony structure of the face? Now think about it. Think about that. If you just look at the faces and you just eyeball, inherently, as human beings, we can just eyeball someone's age. Isn't that amazing? But, but if you really break that down to a science, it's facial bone structure, the way the eyes have changed, the way the body changed. You can just, eye, even with great plastic surgery, people still look older. Think about that. Now, let's keep going. If this is true, if steroids do accelerate aging, we really want to understand exactly why, why it does, and is there data for it? And is it, is it happening on a systemic level? And if it's on a systemic level, it's, it's leading to some premature disease or death, and how do we protect against this? Let's go right into the data. Evidence-based data, here we go. This is the secret article right here. Effects of anabolic androgenic steroids on age in bodybuilders, author Barbara Slenkova, Masters of Thesis, Iowa State University, 2003. Now, guys, when I read this and I found this, some of these, some of these moments for me are just where it's just a big light goes off and I am just like, wow, 
I have to get this on the whiteboard and get it out to all you guys to really understand. It's so true and real. This is science and then gut common sense. Check this out. So aging, cellular aging and telomeres, anabolic steroids and human growth hormone on this effect where it affects, she talks about, there is hypertrophy and hyperplasia. Now, for all you bro science guys and real science guys, musculoskeletal hypertrophy, you have cells that are there, myocytes from birth, you, you train hard, you take steroids, more protein, boom, boom, Every, go, the steroids go in, you have the one cell that grows in size and the muscle grows. Musculoskeletal hyperplasia on top of this is actually cell division. Listen to that word. Listen to the word cell division. So with steroids training hard and certainly combination of growth hormones and growth factors, we know all these guys use. If you look at this, there's going to be effects on adversities that relate to premature aging via the mechanism of the Telmer dynamics, the, the, the division, the cellular division, and something called apoptosis program cell death relating to systemic aging. Guys, now look, telomeres protects, these are, these are protectors, right? So they're like shoelace tips that protect healthy chromosomes. Every time the chromosome it divides, it shortens each on each cell division. And also with other dynamics and pathophysiologic disease states, of course, we're going to talk about here. Now, so you don't want this because telomeres protect against senescent cells. Senescent cells with aging lead to dysfunctional cells and a decrease in the function of that organ tissue, be it the skin, the facial structure, bony structure, muscle skeletal pathology, very interesting. But when you look at cardiovascular pathology, inner organ function, the stuff that I do, guys, and the reason why I'm 60 and I'm still able to do a little bit of steroids and being on testosterone the whole time because of this right here. I can't believe this is from 2003. So the effects, this lady, where is this lady? This woman did a master's thesis on how steroids affect bodybuilders and aging. This is 22 years ago, 23 years ago, right? Unbelievable. So like, let's go back on it again. Cellular aging and telomeres and senescent cells concept Anabolic steroids affect cellular hypertrophy and hyperplasia. Even just some steroids cause musculoskeletal hyperplasia under hard training with insulin. I left insulin out, right? They were using it back then. So is this having an effect systemically on this accumulation of, of senescent cells and affecting these telomeres? Every time they're dividing, I I saw this and I could I can't believe it because that's just such a huge piece that you can't ignore. And do we see it on the bodybuilders? We know that we see premature disease, cardiovascular and renal. Guys, you know it's true. And 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 forget COVID and all this bullshit, and which is true. And I believe that the COVID. Can, with people that are sick, accelerated disease, and the, sh the shot, otherwise known by some of you guys, I know is the clot shot. It's certainly true that it accelerates hypercoagulable states. No kidding, potentially. And I'm not about the politics right now, guys, but I could be free now and say, I agree with you guys on some of this stuff. But the truth is, bodybuilders have always been dying. But during the last couple years, during COVID and now after, has that accelerated it and what's underlying the process? This is a multifactorial process. And if you're on steroids, uh, it just can it accelerate? There's the data right there, potentially. 
You want to see this article. You want to read it. It's wide open on the internet. It's 40-something pages. And she goes, I read it, guys. I spent hours on this. But that's the bottom line. And it, it, it comes together to make sense. Now, let's keep going. Let, let's keep going. I presented that one evidence-based for you guys. Next, we have mortality among users of anabolic steroids. This is current. JAMA 2024. What do we have on this? Mortality among users of anabolic steroid. Dana study, 2006-2018. They looked at 100, uh, excuse me, 1,189 steroid users versus 59,450 controls. Average age, 27 years of age. There was, in the end, there was increased mortality, both natural and unnatural mortality causes versus the controls. Now, not a perfect study. There are limitations on observational. Obviously, you can't when you have observational studies. There's really no causation. You're just looking at these numbers. But it's a very well done study, guys. They're not putting it in JAMA if it's a piece of shit. I can tell you that. Other, other variables not that they can't control. Risk-taking behavior. You're on steroids. You take risks. No, I want to take... When I'm on the mountain bike, I just want to jump off big cliffs almost. I can't go off that cliff, man. I can't do it. I got to go to work and be there for you guys. But I want to do it because testosterone elevation in my brain that I have hell of a lot more testosterone than my testicles could ever make because I'm on testosterone. Even add some steroids once in a while. But I don't want to die. I want to keep living. This is true stuff. So those risks in that study, when you look at that, it's not perfect. But the, the, the statistics, guys, you can't argue statistics on this thing. There's really something going on there. And we know that. But I'm as if I'm in the court right now and I'm a litigator. This is the evidence right here, Your Honor, and people, and man, people of the jury. Here it is. So number three, long-term antibiotic steroid use is associated with deviant brain aging. This is incredible. Again, this is something not long ago, 2021, Society of Biologic uh, Psychiatry. This is real stuff. I, I have it for you guys to look at now. When this one, this is really, really interesting, right, to look at this one. This, they looked at MRIs. They looked at also AI and machine learning uh, protocols. They looked at, they looked at 130 um, guys that did steroids for prolonged times versus 99 uh, controls. They also taught the, the, they looked at a whole other group of people when uh, they were younger, 19 to like 90, where they looked at the parameters for the machine learning to understand the differences, characteristics, physiologically, pathophysiologically on brain areas of change right, from norm, from young to age. So they looked at brain age, they took that machine learning. Guys, this is phenomenal. And then they, they applied it to the steroid users versus the control group. I look at these studies, guys, I read these things in detail. And it's not hard to understand if you have, if you have some scientific background and you will know what's going on from the scientific and from the statistical aspect. And they looked at this and the brain age gap that, that tells you the brain age gap, that there's, there's, it, it, there should be a normal brain age gap as you age, and if there's more of it, your brain is prematurely aging, right, With, for any reason. Now, it really, really did show significantly different for the steroid users, increased brain age gap. I, you can't argue. It's just unbelievable. Now, the, again, not a perfect study, amazing study, and it looked like it was related to, to the exposure to antigens in length, I'm assuming in dose, correct? So the more you use, the longer you use it, the more it's going to have these adverse effects. Guys, I'm done. Now, let me go. Let me, let me overview this and then most importantly, give you some protective tips that I think that I've lived to this point and I'm still enjoying benching big, loving my life, using some steroids very, very carefully. And, and I'm going to tell you some tips here. So, again, look at this thing. You, it's, it's true. It's true. It's true. If you're going to use anabolic steroids, you have to understand your health. You have to get a very good history and physical. You have to understand 
who you are, your fingerprint. That's why I, I created testosteronology, the, the, the actual clinical digital aspect, the, 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 the app itself, and my, all my testosteronologists that I'm training in the world, right, to, to spread and to, to scale what I've done and I've created, right, that the universe has allowed me to do this and created the first and only testosteronologist. Now we're spreading it. And for all you guys that are in the workplace, that are in the healthcare world, you want to come on board, contact Andrew, come on board. Love to see if to grow this army of testosteronologists all over the world. So number one, you start with history and physical. You understand who you are. And then in the end of the day, before you take testosterone or steroids, you understand your health from an ABCD perspective, hemoglobin A1C. This is all going to apply to everything right here. The senescent cells, the, the telomere protection. When you look at mTOR, you look at the medicines I use, right, to block that and, and to, to stabilize. This is why I look this way at this point. I'm really, really strong and I feel great. And I've been on steroids since 23. I'm 60. 23 on and off. Yet my late 20s had to be on testosterone ever since. Monkeyed with stuff to come off to have some children. Yeah, buddy. And 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 then ever since been on and off. And I've always been fearful of what it would do to my heart and my kidney, heart and kidney. So when you look at the A, the B, and the C, blood pressure, the coronary artery disease, the heart failure potential, the renal function potential, the D, the red blood cell, the antigen-induced erythrocytotic, the potential for iron overload, you have to pull this all together. I have labs for you guys on outside the app, not even behind the paywall for all the special information. But that's going to be the best when you access into the into the app and you look at your ABCD panel. You have access to the form. You can come to the meetings with me and other testosteronologists. I really want you guys to understand anabolic steroid users probably do look older and not just their face is looking older, but they're aging prematurely, their organs inside, and there's going to be suffering. Keep the steroids down. Know your H&P. Use protective vector forces that I have provided, ABCDs, and just keep it to a down low. If you're going to be a pro athlete, pro bodybuilder, pro powerlifter, or a strong man, or, and women, and you're going to have to use you know, massive, I mean, physiologic doses for, for long exposure periods, you're going to get hurt. You're going to age. If you're young, you're going to chew into your health reserve. Do, that's, you're the boss. Do you, are you gambling in Vegas? Are you just gambling? If you have underlying disease from a congenital standpoint, from your heart or your kidneys, you're just going to excel. Why wouldn't you want to know that? And may, hey, maybe I shouldn't do that because, man, I have some congenital issues, you know, from birth, really, and from family history and things. Or now I'm older and I have plaque in the artery. Do you really want to do all the big cycles to do that show for yourself? And I get it, man. I get it. I understand doing things. I'm 60. I still want to bench big. This is like the pathology from the behavioral standpoint that it goes against your own. This is the devil. This is the angel. Just the devil says, do it, man. You got to live. You got to get on the stage again. You got to do it. It's important to do because inside we need this. Then the angel says, please don't do it. Do something else. How about live in the middle? Understand where you are in your health. Understand that you should, you should be careful and you want to proceed through life prolonged and sustained. And it is possible to use androgens very carefully and to employ protection, vector force protection. And that's what I'm doing today. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get some great comments. What do you guys think about steroid users look older and why? Thank you.